Hello all, Retired by Choice back once again with another fun tablet video. Today I'm showing off my newest acquisition. I have now finally jumped into the 21st century and the newest generation of video gaming. Yes, I'm speaking of current gen technology. I have a Xbox One now. I've been wanting to get an Xbox One for a little bit. I know a year ago or so, back when uh, Classic Game Freak and I were doing our show about the next gen consoles, mainly Xbox One and PS4, we spoke in depth about how we were very upset with Microsoft, how they're just trying to gouge and blah blah blah. And I seriously was not going to get an Xbox One. I was, I was just going to go abandon Xbox and Microsoft and go strictly PS4, support Sony again. But during that time, I had picked up a PS3 and I was playing that for a while. And I just couldn't get into it. I mean, I, there's a few games that I really liked. But as a console, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like how it was set up. I didn't like how it was... Uh, I don't know, I, I just didn't enjoy playing on it as much as I enjoyed playing on my 360, so I ended up just trading my PS3 and all my stuff that I had for it for some Xbox things. Now, the reason I got an Xbox One was because a buddy of mine had recently traded his 360 get up. I mean, he had the Xbox 360, he had wireless controllers, he had games for days I and mean, he had tons of stuff and he ended up just trading the whole shebang shebang for an Xbox One and a couple games and when I saw that he got that it really got me more motivated to want to try to get a current gen console so I I really didn't want to give up my 360 because I got I mean, what he had I have beyond that invested in my 360 and I'm not going to give that up. I'm a collector, I'm a gamer, I still have a second game for the 360 I need to finish and some of them I still need to start, so I'm not going to get rid of that. So I was kind of trying to figure out how I could get an Xbox One with the uh, limited resources I have and limited income I've got. And what I ended up doing is I traded my Nintendo 64 collection for an Xbox One. I know a lot of you guys out there are probably going, what, you traded what for what? It was. It's not like I'm completely out of a Nintendo 64 collection. I traded two systems, two controllers, one set of hookups, and 19 games. Some people might say that's a lot of stuff, but basically I, I have four Nintendo 64 systems, and they're not the fancy special atomic or whatever versions. They're all just plain Jane boring uh, gray 64s. And I had I had four. So me trading two off with a bunch of games is no big deal. I find games all the time. Yes, it takes me a while to build up the collection, but honestly, my 64 games and systems were not hooked up. And right now I got Xbox hooked up, I got Xbox 360, I got Xbox One, I've got PS2, I've got GameCube, i got Genesis, and the Sega CD all hooked up right now. And the 64 was just not hooked up, it was just sitting in the closet. So I traded it, and I got the Xbox One. It's used, it's a little scuffed up, it's not in the best pristine condition, but you know what? It plugs in, it plays, and it's awesome. And they had it listed for $279. I traded with a uh, gaming store basically. I posted something on Craigslist, said this is what I'm looking for. So he, he brought that. He was selling the Xbox One for $279. But of course I traded it. So I got this, all the hookups, uh, one controller, and it came with the game I've been wanting to play forever, the Sunset Overdrive. And it's listed as day one edition which means it comes with extra outfits and stuff, but I think that only works if you got it on day one because I don't have any of these things. 
but I believe it's complete. I don't know. I don't know if the current gen comes with instruction manuals or anything. It's got a two-day pass for Xbox Live, which is already expired, so don't worry about it. Um, it's got an advertisement for Halo. Wah, wah, wah. It's a fun game. I played and beat it already. I've had my Xbox One for about two weeks, and I've been waiting to make a video because I wanted to kind of get in there, play with it a little bit, kind of figure out what's going on with it, see if I do like it or not. Um, and I do. I do enjoy it. it. It's a little different than 360. The way it's set up is a little bit different, so it's still kind of uh, confusing a little bit. But I'm still playing around with it, going through with it, going through all the different menus and sub-menus and figuring things out, and I enjoy it. But that's not all. Um, I also got with it uh, Dead Rising 3. It is this. The game's already in the system because I've been playing it for the last couple of days like crazy. And this is fun. Of the three Dead Rising games, this one's the best one. And I don't care what anyone else says. It's fun. It's engaging. Um, where other ones feel like you're being rushed to get to one place to another, I don't feel as rushed in this game. So I can kind of explore, play around, and find things. Whereas the first two games is like, I I have to try to do this and do that so I can get to the end before I die. Or before the airstrike comes. Or, or whatever it was that I was trying to get to. It, it felt very rushed. So this one, uh, Dead Rising 3, definitely a good game. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, then I went ahead to the GameStop and I picked up uh, the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. I've said before in other post things that I, I love the Lego games. Um, I've played the Lego games that I don't even like. Like I played the, the Harry Potter games. I hate Harry Potter, but the Lego Harry Potter is awesome. It's fun. So I got this used at GameStop. It says pre-owned on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but it says pre-owned, but it's still sealed. So I got a new game at a used game price, which is awesome. So I'm guessing it's complete since it's never been opened. Let me go ahead and open it and make sure. Oh, they do come with instruction manuals, I guess. I, the one thing I don't like about the uh, Xbox One is you got the cover here, and as soon as you open it, the game's right there instead of the manual being right there. And I guess you could flip it, but then the Xbox logos and stuff like that would be upside down. So, but it is complete, and it's looking beautiful. So yeah, that's what I did. I traded a N64, well, two N64s, two controllers, one set of hookups, um, 19 games. Oh, and a steering wheel. Uh, the steering wheel system I showed on here before. Um, basically, that was just taking up room. I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I don't play racing games like that. So I just went ahead and just traded it all. And I think I got a good deal. I mean, I priced out... Uh, what the games were and all that stuff to what I got and uh, they were just right about equal yes I gave it more stuff but I got what I wanted I wanted to get an Xbox One and uh, now I am in the current gen so I'll be buying and picking up and reviewing and showing on here more of the current gen stuff as opposed to the last gen ie Xbox 360 but that's it for me. So, um, first off, before I go though, I want to apologize to my good friend, uh, Classic Game Freak. He wanted me to get a PS4 really bad. He, he'd been sending me, uh, these things showing off the, uh, the new Batman PS4. And he thought I was, I was going to jump on because I'm a big Batman fan. But, um, I'm sorry. I, I can't do this PS4. I don't want to. I don't, I don't. I haven't played it, so I can't say I don't like it, but based on my limited time with the PS3, I didn't like it, and I don't think I'm going to like the PS4 based on that, so I'm going to stick with Xbox. Plus, all my achievements carried over, so I still have my, my player score, which is great, because I have like 75,000 right now, so I'm happy with that. But that's it for me, so nothing else to report, nothing else to say. I will have another video up probably next week. Um, so I got some more pickups, random pickups. But that's it. So, as always, not by nature, entire by choice. Peace!